Hello everyone, welcome to Public Rank. So in this video we will learn how to integrate Rike and Todoist. So our use case is pretty simple. When a new task is added in Rike, it will automatically create a task in Todoist. Now Rike is an excellent work management software and Todoist is a list building application. So what we are going to do is we are going to send the data from Rike to Todoist. But there is one minor problem. There is no integration between Rike and Todoist. So in cases like these, we need to bring a third app to properly connect them both. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Rike and Todoist. And the best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. Pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and at the bottom you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect and then click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and at the bottom you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner you will find a button create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as Rike to Todoist. Rike to to do list and then just click on create okay so when you click on create a window appears in front of you this is called as the trigger window so in the choose app how about we make it as Rike because we want to send the data from Rike that is why now in the trigger event how about we make it as new task okay so new task is basically a trigger event so your obvious question is what is a trigger event trigger is basically a if statement it asks a question if the condition is met what should be done for example, if a new task is created, then what action should be taken by the system? Actually, there are many more trigger events like new folder, project status change and so on. However, in case if you don't find the trigger of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the ratepabli.com for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new task is made in white. Right. Okay. So just click on connect with Rike. So in the new credentials, just again click on connect with Rike. Okay, so now Public Connect is demanding access. Just click on accept. Okay, excellent. It is showing the authorization is successful. Just click on OK. So as you can see, you will find the webhook URL. Now, in usual cases, you basically have to go and paste this webhook URL. But in case of Rike, all you have to do is just click on save and send test request to connect with Public Connect. Okay, so the API response is showing the data, uh, the API response is showing that we have integrated Rike to Public Connect. So since Public Connect is integrated with Rike, any task that is created in Rike, Public Connect has to capture the data. So as to ensure that Public Connect capture this data, let me click on this button, capture webhook response. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a dummy task in Rike. So this is my Rike account and I'm going to create a new task. So the name of the task is uh, tailoring. Tailoring. Okay, and uh, this is the task that we have made. Excellent. So we are going to give a description. So the description is uh, we need to stitch our clothes and uh, we are going to set the date that is uh, from today and the due date we are keeping it as uh, on 4th of March and just click on save okay so we have entered the description and we have entered the start date as well as the due date excellent now since public connect is uh, integrated with Rike, let's have a look has it captured this data or not okay so as you can see it is showing some sort of data has been captured so where is our data related to tailoring? Where is our data related to the start date as well as the due date? So all the data is stored in this particular address, the task ID. So basically we have to extract all the details from this particular address. So your obvious question is how I'm going to do that. It's actually pretty easy. 
scroll down and here you will find the button plus button just click this okay so when you click on this plus button another window opens up this is called as the action window so in the choose app since we want to extract all the data from Reich how about we make this action window Reich okay so now in the action event how about we scroll down and just click on get specific task okay so just click on connect with Reich in the new credentials just again click on connect with Reich okay so as you can see the authorization is successful you know the drill just click on ok okay so in the task there is a blank it is showing how to guide so as you can see these are all the tasks that i have created in Reich, and one of these tasks is tailoring so i have selected this but this is kind of wrong so basically this data is now static we want a dynamic data okay so how i'm going to do that so it's actually pretty easy all you have to do is uh, toggle this to the right okay and of course we have the id this is the same id that we have here but again as i mentioned we want the dynamic data not the static one so we are just going to remove this and let me introduce you to this button this is called as the mapping button when we click this you can find the dynamic task id this is the one we want we have mapped it so all we have to do is just click on save and send test request and it will extract all the data related to the task so let me do that Okay, so this is the API response. As you can see, the title is tailoring and the brief description mentions it as we need to stitch our clothes. And where is the start date as well as the due date? Yes, we do have the start date as well as the due date. Excellent. So what we have to do right now is we have to sync all this data to Todoist to create a task. So to do that, all you have to do is just click on this plus button. Okay, so when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. So this is another action window. So this time in the choose app, how about we make it as Todoist. Okay. Now in the action event, how about we create a task? Okay, so okay, so now uh, create a task is an action event. There are many more action events like create a project, update a project, delete a project, update task, delete a task. All of them are a bunch of action events. Now, just like the triggers, if you don't find the action event according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate to custom build an action event for you. But at present, I just want to create a task in Todoist. Okay, so just click on connect with Todoist. So in the new credentials, we have to fill in the token. So to get the token, let's have a visit to Todoist. So this is uh, my Todoist account. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to the profile. Here you will find the option called as settings. Click on settings. Okay, so in the settings page at the left bottom, you will find the option called as integrations. Click this. Okay, so this is the integrations page. Scroll down and here you will find the API token. Copy this and simply paste it here okay so we have entered the api token so how about we check it we have entered the correct token yes we have entered the correct token just click on save okay so when you click on save a set of blanks has appeared in front of you the purpose of this blank is very simple we are going to create a task from the data that we have received from Reich via public connect now in the content as i mentioned before this is uh, the mapping button we click this and enter the title so the title is uh, tailoring okay so we have entered it now in the project id it is showing it as inbox and when we expand this you can find the drop down so in the drop down you have uh, different projects so these are all the projects id so your obvious question is what is going on so let me show you so let me remove this settings page Okay, so as you can see, these are all the projects I have in my Todoist account. And uh, how about uh, we select a particular project, for example, mouse project. So as you can see, we do have a project called as mouse project. Okay, now to explain you better, how about I create uh, additional project, I'm going to click, click on add project. So the name of the project is uh, Reich Task Creation. Okay, so I'm going with the color uh, grape and this is the view or how about we go with the board one okay we are going with the board ones and just click on add okay so if you want you can add a section no i think we are not going to add any section okay so a new project called as uh, right task creation has been created so what i'm going to do here is i'm going back to public connect and i'm going to refresh this when I refresh this, you can expect to find this uh, particular project, Reich Task Creation, as one of my project IDs. Now, this is because we have integrated Todoist to Public Connect. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to refresh this. 
okay and ex uh, let's expand this once again so as you can see we do have uh, the project id that is fry task creation so basically we are going to create a task in this project fry task creation so we have selected it okay so now it is demanding human readable representation of the due date so basically what it demands is basically your due date so let me scroll down and let me enter the due date so the due date um, so where is our data regarding the due date okay so this is the due date and this is the start date so basically we only want this okay so basically we have entered all the details uh, in the content we can also enter the description so what i'm going to do here is uh, enter this and uh, enter a description so the description was uh, this one we need to stitch, stitch our clothes this is the one we want okay so we have entered it so how about we just click on save and send test request to create a task so let me do that okay so the api response is showing the data has been sent to todoist so let's have a look okay so as you can see we have got our task that is tailoring and this is the description we need to stitch our clothes and this is the due date march 4 5 pm so we have got our task but there is one minor problem let me show you so let me go to uh, right again and let me create one more task so the task is uh, car driving okay and then we have created the task and uh, we are going to enter a description so the description is uh, car driving is easy and we are going to set the date um, 8th of monday and this is the due date okay so just click on save okay excellent we have entered the description we have also created a task called as car driving so let's have a look in uh, todoist so let me refresh it okay so no need to refresh so as you can see we do have uh, the task that is car driving so where is our uh, description and where is our due date they are both absent so this is because uh, as you can see first we have to create a task okay so the when you create a task the data is sent to public connect but at the same time uh, the description is delayed so what we have to do here is uh, we have to send the data of uh, the task as well as the description as well as the due date at the same time so this is basically a tough thing tough thing to do because uh, the task is created first and then you have uh, created the description and then you create the start date as well as the end date so basically we have to restrict the data of the task for some time let's say one or two minutes until we finish uh, uh, writing our description so in public connect you have a feature called as uh, delay module let me show you so what we are going to do here is we are just going to click on this plus button okay and uh, in this uh, plus button when we click on this plus button we do have an action window of course and in the choose app how about we use uh, this uh, delay module okay going to do here is uh, it is going to delay uh, this particular data the task creation for let's say for two minutes okay so let me just click on save and send test request okay so what it will do is uh, as you can see uh, the message is showing it has been delayed for two minutes this will ensure that when a task is created in uh, uh, Reich, so the data will be delayed for two minutes so till then we can actually uh, write our description and also enter our start as well as the due date so the whole data will be sent as a package so let's have a look uh, so what i'm going to do here is uh, we are, i'm just going to refresh uh, all of my windows okay so we have refreshed all of our windows so i'm going back to Reich and i'm going to create a new task so the name of the task is uh, play cricket okay cricket then we have uh, created the task okay and then we have uh, added the description the description is uh, playing cricket is fun okay and then we are going to set the date so the date is uh, 10th february to 17th march just click on save okay so a new task called as play cricket has been created and this is the description and this is the uh, start date as well as the end date so let's have a look in todoist okay so let me refresh this okay so as you can see there is no task created in todoist this is because we have uh, kept a delay of two minutes so basically only after two minutes the task will be created so we will have to wait for uh, two minutes and i will update the result as soon as i get it
Okay, so after two minutes delay, we have got the task that is play cricket and playing cricket is fun. This is the description. And then we have uh, the due date, March 17, 5 p.m. Excellent. So the presence of this task in Todoist confirms that our integration is working fine. So how about we double check if our integration is uh, working or not. But before we do that, let me show you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So I'm going to minimize this trigger window as all of my action windows are already minimized. So basically, this is the whole process uh, in a nutshell. First you integrated right to public connect and then you have used the delay module to delay the task for two minutes and then you have used uh, this action window to get a specific task and also you have integrated Todoist to public connect so now there is a perfect flow of data between right and Todoist okay so how about we create uh, one more task so I'm just going to create a task so uh, uh, the name of the task is uh, tennis pitch play something and uh, the description is uh, tennis is awesome okay so we are going to set the date as 17 February and then we have uh, 23 March just click on save okay so uh, a new task called as tennis pitch play has been created and this is the description tennis is awesome and we have uh, the start date as 17 february and the due date as uh, 23rd march so let's have a look in todoist so let me refresh this as i explained this before it will take more than two minutes because the data is delayed for two minutes because we have uh, introduced the delay module okay so as you can see after a delay of two minutes we have got the task tennis pitch play and tennis is awesome and the due date is March 23rd excellent so our integration is working absolutely fine this means anytime a new task is made in Rike it will be reflected as a task in Todoist not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect if you have any queries contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows or better just visit our website www.pabli.com it's awesome Thanks.